All 63-year-old Rupert Makawili wants to do is sleep, but he hasn't been able to do that in six days. His home was destroyed Friday morning when Typhoon Haiyan slammed into Takloban. He lost 40 members of his family that day. Makawili may have survived the storm, but he still lives in fear for his life. How many of us are left? And now this. Something else may take our lives. People coming into our houses and if you fight back, they'll kill you. What about our lives? So few of us left as it is. Are they going to finish us all off? Makawili's neighbors share his concern. They say it's bad enough Haiyan turned their lives upside down without the additional confusion now over security. One of the structures that was damaged by Haiyan is the local prison behind me. Many of the inmates are believed to have escaped and survived the storm. Now the people here fear that some of those escapees are behind a recent wave of crimes that are now aggravating the situation. A state of national emergency has been declared. There are checkpoints in Takloban and a curfew from 6 in the evening to 6 in the morning to try to stabilize peace and order. But many of the people here say that nothing has been explained to them and rumors are rampant that this is the return of dictatorial martial rule. Who are they? Are they military, rebels or thieves? What's really going on? We've received no news. There's no radio. So what's the real situation? Makawili hasn't let the uncertainty stop him. He's gone back to work as a driver, even though he says what money he might earn now is worthless here. What happens to us is up to God, but I will not leave here. This is our home. No matter what tragedy befalls us next, if it takes the lives of those of us left, then that's okay. It still rains here on most days. Makawili and his family cram into the only dry space in their makeshift shelter. Sometimes, he says, they stand like this all through the night. Even the gentle sound of rain now is cause for fear. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Takloban.